I was actually born able-bodied. From the age of four, I started to play football. But um, back when I was six years, six years old, I, I slipped and fell off a cliff. My dad dragged me up out of out of the bush. Um, it was unfortunate. It was you know it was the 24th of December. It was Christmas Eve at the time. Christmas was rough that year. I woke up two weeks later, out of the coma. Couldn't walk. Couldn't talk. It took me a long time to start to talk again. I remember one of the first conversations I had with my parents. I said, "So, so God, Mum, Dad, will I will, will I be able to play football this year?" They obviously said, you know, you, you've had quite a serious brain injury and, you know, no, you won't be able to play this year. And the doctor said, uh, obviously, you know, you're never going to walk or talk, but obviously you're never going to play football again. I didn't really have a thought within my body that I was ever not going to walk or not going to play football again. My, my driving force was football. I remember the day that I first walked and I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get up and give it a go. I don't care if I, whether I fall over. So I got up and I took four very, very ordinary steps um, and I fell over. But, you know, from four came eight, from eight came 16, from 16 came 32 and just, you know, you just, you, 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 you build and you take those little margins as you can get them. Paris started in 1998. I didn't really have an idea of what it meant to, to, to put on the green and gold jersey and until the Sydney 2000 games where I walked out and I walked around the tunnel. And the high that you get is unlike anything I've ever felt in my life. From being told you wouldn't walk again, it was a big, it was a big moment for me. A bit of a pat on the back moment. The way the Paralympic football is different to able-bodied football, there's two main classifications. There's cerebral palsy, obviously, but then there's ABI. That's an acquired brain injury. And it's played on roughly the same size pitch as a hockey pitch. There's no offsides. It's set on the pitch at any one time. You can roll it in, but apart from that, it's all the same. The same hits, the same challenges, the same cracking goals. When I'm not playing football, I'm a, I'm, I'm a school teacher. I'm the assistant principal at Wimbley Public School. I laugh a lot when I teach. You know, I'm, I'm not sort of your typical teacher, so I guess that's why, that's why I like it, because I enjoy it. Because I make it fun. I, I, I try and make it as fun for the kids so they enjoy it as well. From being an able boy footballer and just sort of having that taken away and then and then, then having to work really hard to get it back. I, I often get asked, you know, would you be happy if it never happened? And you just lived a lived normal life. But I wouldn't take it back for all the money in the world, you know. I've had the awesome opportunity to go over, to, to travel all over the world, nine caps for my country, over 20 games as captain. It, it, it never really gets old, that feeling of walking onto the field, lining up and hearing a national anthem. You've got you, you to pinch yourself from time to time at just how, how, how lucky you are.